recording. Yes, it is. Bump. So, guys, I am back after a, a pretty long time, actually. Yeah, I've moved, and um, so things have been a bit up in the air. Uh, it's been a long time coming. So finally moved in and uh, I still got so much to sort out and all my gear is just everywhere. I have no space for like editing in the house. Um, so there's a lot to sort out and go through, but I thought I'll just do a little video uh, for you just to give you a bit of an update and some thoughts on some recent camera stuff. So uh, yeah. Um, if any of you subscribe to Mad Science Films, and you should be, uh, you'll know that we did a video recently about me um, selling my GAE. So uh, I'm going through my gear, my cameras in particular, um, and just seeing if I could kind of simplify the, uh, the cameras which I have. It's a difficult process to go through. Um, but I've, I've got rid of the GAE and uh, the only reason being is because, um, and there's a video you can watch that goes in a bit more detail, uh, but the GAE I'm getting rid of because it just lacks some pro features, which I'm finding I pretty much need going forward. Um, so I've got a new camera to replace that. And uh, yeah, the camera is, this bad boy, uh, the amazing GH5. Absolutely love this camera. I used to own it. Um, oh God, how many years ago now? Well, two years ago, something like that. So at the time I wanted the full frame S5. So to raise some money, I switched out the, um, the GH5 to fund that. So and I, I, I don't I didn't regret doing it. I don't regret doing it. Um, and I'm glad I did it at the time because the camera was worth a bit more money. Um, so I was able to cash in on that. And now the GH5, well, I'll do a video for Mad Science about the GH5 in particular, but just to, you know, summarize for this channel, the GH5 just for the, the value for money is just phenomenal. So um, switched out that. Uh, but going forward, uh, I've got some plans for the cameras. Um, so I've got the Lumix S1, Lumix S5, the GH5, the G9. Um, they're like my four pro cameras I can do some gigs with. And then I've got the GX7, the GF3, the GH2, uh, the Canon 70D, the Canon 650D, which I still need to do a magic lantern crop mood video, which I will do. Um, so I've got a lot of cameras and I've justified each camera <laughs> buying them for certain things, but I could actually condense them all down, but there we go. I'm a whole lot of cameras. I love cameras. I love gear, but going forward, um, you know, we've got these new cameras coming out from Panasonic G9 Mark II, uh, the recent S5 II and S5 IIx possible s1 version of the uh you know a better autofocusing version of the s1 and s1h don't know what they'll be called but they'll be coming out soon and it's just got me thinking about cameras and also the black magic 6k pro cinema camera that's just being released with l mount i mean I've recently started to invest in the L mount and um, I thought it would be a wise decision going forward because it's a new mount. It's, it's very well supported by Sigma, Leica um, and Panasonic, obviously, but then you've got the likes of Blackmagic, which, you know, are now going to use the L mount, which is fantastic. And it's such a good mount because you can adapt to it. So all my Canon glass, which I use for the 750, um, the 770D and the 650D, you know, I can use all of those lenses too. And 
you know, just it's just got me thinking about cameras and what I'm going to do going forward. Now, I've spoke to you before about my camera setup. I did a video on it. I'm done with Micro Four Thirds. A bit clickbait, yeah, I know. Um, and I did say then briefly that I would, depending on what cameras come out and what I would do. So, yeah, it was giving me a lot of food for thought. And uh, so my my thinking is, and this is just me speaking out loud on the internet. Uh, my thinking is that I could perhaps shrink down my cameras to just three and go for a uh, black magic 6k camera so i've got the l mount i've got a lovely cinema camera and it has rectified those issues i was having with the pocket 4k such as the screen being fixed the poor battery life um what was the other thing i can't remember what else it was a couple of other things but i love the image quality on the pocket 4k still hands down my friend tom's got one and uh, we're shooting a documentary and the footage in all fairness it matches with the s1 footage quite well so uh but there is just something extra special about the black magic color science but anyway so the 6k l mount um better battery better screen some really good uh codecs you got b-roll 6k resolution if you need it uh a lot of good things going for that camera and then you got the likes of the g9 mark ii and I love my Micro Four Thirds uh, system. I'll I'll never get rid of that, and I'm so pleased that Micro Four uh, Panasonic are still chinning out really good cameras. Also, you've got the face detect autofocus. Now, I've never been one for autofocus. Uh, it's not been the be all and end all for me, but I'll be a liar if I if I said that the face detection didn't offer something to me, particularly if I'm doing some um, solo shooting. You know, it's 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 a nice thing to have, but for me it wasn't essential um so you got like a 6k pro from black magic a g9 mark ii and then maybe an s5 ii or some iteration of the s series with phase s1 series with the phase detect i don't know there's there's so much to kind of consider and think about going forward but the beauty is is i've invested in lenses which will be forever relevant with these mounts and uh, even the Canon ones. I think the Canon performed quite well actually with the Sigma, Sigma MC21 adapter on the L mount. Um, so particularly the cameras with face detect. So my Canon glass will work quite well. So it's exciting times. Um, of course, it'll mean getting rid of the G9 camera which I adore and love. Uh, I don't think you could beat those ergonomics, to be honest. I think the ergonomics on the G9 are just really nice. Um, we'll get taxes. But um, I mean, it, 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 it may have to go. Uh, you know, you've got to fund these things. But I'm going to wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait. And I'm not in any rush to go buy new camera bodies now. I think the G9 Mark II goes for about £1,800. Quite, quite a lot of money. Um but I like, keep tuning them up, Panasonic. Keep keep tuning up these cameras because you're just making these amazing cameras cheaper then. So I might wait a year or so and then jump ship to the G9 Mark II and get some really nice Panasonic cameras uh, with better resolutions and codecs and stuff like that. And um, continuous recording, I think it's becoming more of a um, normal kind of, feature to have in these modern cameras which is brilliant for somebody like myself who does long form uh, recording sometimes um so yeah that's my kind of thinking um going forward i will try and get some videos out uh asap it's just really difficult at the minute because all my stuff is kind of well that's not even all of my stuff that's just some of the stuff uh, i've convinced my girlfriend to move her stuff so i can put my stuff in here uh, but this is the stuff I kind of need if I do any paid stuff and um, so I need it all out but if I'm doing stuff for you guys I, my vintage lenses are packed away and some of my speed boosters and some bits and pieces and just yeah it's a bit of a pain um, but anyway I'm not dead I'm still alive and uh, I got plans 
but yeah real life is just um slowing me down a bit but yeah i will be back i'm excited a lot to think about and discuss and yeah leave those comments down below what, what, are you considering uh, investing into microphone thirds for the first time are you considering switching out your cameras for um the new modern cameras you know what i mean are you on a gx7 and you want to upgrade to the g9 mark ii you know there's 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 reasons for it. You know, your glass which you've invested in is still is still gonna be relevant and it's gonna work perfectly on these new cameras. So exciting. Lots of some lenses as well. Anyway, I've rambled on for too long. What's that? I can't even see because the bracket's in a way, but never mind. Okay guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.